So right now what we're doing is compacting the sub base. It's a very critical part of the process. It is a very, very frustrating piece for a lot of homeowners to watch. Um, they'll see us walking these circles all day long to ensure that we've got a, a very, very solid base to lay our brick on. So right now what we've got going on is uh, Mitch is currently uh, circling the patio with a compactor, plate compactor, and we are, we are tamping class five into our sub base. It's a very critical piece to ensure that we've got a proper compaction throughout the entire patio. What we're gonna be doing is pounding this class five into the sub base so that we get it to seize up because it's heavy clay soil here. Things are moving a lot. Uh, once we have this down, we're gonna lay a, a level of underlayment and, uh, and continue compacting with more class five. Continuing on our patio project and the next step of the process is installing the underlayment fabric. Uh, this fabric is meant to keep the base that we install clean. We want to keep dirt out of it. If we get dirt in it, it ends up getting soggy, holds more water, and starts to move. So the cleaner your base is over the long term, uh, the better. So when we install this, the most important piece is that you have it overlapping your sides. You want it to come up the side of your patio and lay onto the, the soil on the outer perimeter because when we put the base in here, it's going to settle a bit and we want to make sure we've got it running all the way up. You don't want to just lay it in a footprint because uh, you're going to end up having your base fill out. The other piece that it does is it encapsulates the compaction so it kind of holds everything together and helps us get a proper compaction. And continue building our column and our bench wall and like I would mentioned before we were we were prepping the base getting that set this has to be dead level so when we set our first course that's the most important biggest thing I'm looking for set your level down on top making sure it's level in multiple directions uh, then you can take your dead blow hammer give it a couple good whacks so it's set in place do that the entirety of the first course and after that it's as simple as stacking block and adhering it into place